Hey guys and guys, welcome to part five of my Python SQL Lite tutorial series. Uh, in this tutorial, we're gonna be looking at creating a function and some validation to add a user and check to make sure that that username isn't already in the database. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete the user's database. So as we're starting from uh, fresh. So then gonna enter presentation mode and we're gonna have a look at what we're gonna do because we're gonna need to comment out some of this stuff. So let's start by, we're gonna, we're just gonna start with commenting out this for now. Okay, so, cause what I want it to do is I want it to uh, create the database, create the table, add the user. Okay, but then what I don't want it to do is print out any data just yet. So within here, I'm gonna create a function and I'm gonna call that function uh, new user. So I'm gonna define uh, the function new, user and I'm going to create a variable called found uh, equals zero and this is says I can loop so all the time found is at zero we're going to do the loop so we're going to say while found is equal to zero uh, do something and what I want it to do is um, ask the user for a username and that can just be a variable equals input um, and that's going to be something like uh, please enter a username Uh, then what we're going to do is uh, with SQL Lite three, connect. We're going to connect to our database. Now database is users uh, dot db. I'm going to connect just as db. Okay. I'm going to set the uh, cursor again. Cursor will equal uh, db dot cursor. That's fine. Okay, so I'm just going to explain this a little bit. So uh, the reason I am repeating this code which is already up here is because it's within a function. So the function self-contained. So this function doesn't necessarily know that we've already created uh, the connected to the database up here so it's really important that we repeat that within um, the function if there's another way to do it and if you know of another way to do it then please do let me know so right here we go so with sqlite3 connect users.db as db set the cursor which will be db.cursor and then we are going to find the user. So let's find user and that'll equal a query and that's going to be select wildcard from the user table where username question mark and then we're going to say cursor.execute and we're going to say find user and we are going to find square bracket uh, open brackets username and then we're going to do some selection so we're going to do an if statement and this is how we check to say whether or not and tell the user whether or not the username has been found so the if cursor dot fetch all Try again. 
Okay, and then with that thing, we need else. And we can say found now equal one, and we'll break the loop. Uh, we're going to try running this by doing uh, new user. So that will run the function. We then want to check what's in the database. Okay, so with this, this isn't the complete function. Okay, so the reason I've done it like this is we're going to show you how to check to make sure the validation is working. So the next thing we'll do is we'll run it, make sure we haven't got any errors, and we'll enter our test username. Because remember, when we run this, it's going to create the database, create the table, it's going to insert into the table the username, first name, surname, and password that we pass it, and we're going to pass it test user, and then we're going to run our add user I'm going to check that the validation works by entering test user so let's do that now okay so that's a good start so it's run our function so we can try test underscore user and let's run that and it's said that that username is already in use please try again and it's looped it so what we can do now is we can try uh, test user again and again in use and let's try just a random username let's try uh, John and let's enter that and that's fine so and what it's done you can see here that it's just printed out because I've left that code in uncommented at the bottom to print out everything in the user table now you can see here we added the user John um, but it hasn't written it or committed it to the database and that's because we haven't told it to yet all we've done in this section of the tutorial is just check that that validation works and that validation is working so quite happy with that um, I hope that's made sense. If you've got any questions at all, please comment below. I will try to answer um, every comment that I receive. Please like, subscribe and share. And in the final tutorial, uh, part six, we will, or I will show you how to go through and add to this function and finish it off so that we can add a user and all the data to the database and actually commit it to the table um, and write that data to the table and uh, yeah so looking forward to that do come back next time